And the, uh, what's the On December 20th, 2010, Lance Corporal Randy Warfel was driving outside the wire in Helmand Province when his vehicle struck an improvised explosive device. I remember uh, hearing it and feeling myself lift up, and uh, next thing you knew, I was waking up by my buddy. The Pennsylvania native had a grade two concussion from the blast, and he's been recovering with help from the staff at Camp Leathernecks Concussion Restoration Care Center. But he and other IED victims have to wait because of the risk of repeated concussions, known as second impact syndrome. There are reported deaths out there from, uh, from um, uh, athletes who have had this. And so in the short term, in the immediate uh, days after, that's the main thing that we're trying to prevent. Long term, you start looking at stuff uh, like post-traumatic stress disorder. The CRCC staff has watched Warfel's speech problems and headaches fade with time and careful oversight. They've ensured this truck driver can safely rejoin his Marines with Combat Logistics Battalion 2. Headache. Nothing, just winded. Ran. There is no other clinic in the uh, operating theater that is like, like our clinic. Since we've opened on 30 August, we've had uh, around 275 concussion patients that have been seen and returned to full duty. Feeling normal again. Today, Lance Corporal Warfel is cleared for duty. With a clean bill of health, he can again run, laugh, and do what he loves, supplying his brothers in arms on the front lines. What you do, you don't want to stop doing it just because something happened. It's your job. Not that, it's not only that either, it's, just, it's inside of you. And you can't stop it, you know. Reporting from Camp Leatherneck, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz.